Good morning and thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Micah Smith and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Tuesday. Ukraine's president is expected to call for more weapons and more sanctions against Russia when he addresses the United Nations today. His appearance comes a day after he visited a town outside of Kyiv where the bodies of more than 400 civilians were recovered. Russia denied targeting civilians and accused Ukraine of staging the deaths for the media. Kansas basketball fans are celebrating the program's fourth national championship. The Jayhawks came back to win against North Carolina in one of the biggest comebacks in a national title game. They trailed by 15 points at the half and stormed back to win 72 to 69. Also, firefighters say people might see and smell smoke from the in-car burn area today. They'll be removing trees in the burn zone and are asking people to stay away from heavy machinery. They also want people to keep their dogs away from the burn area. The fire, though, is fully contained. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 Weather Action Day forecast. Yeah, and unfortunately, fire danger is going to be really high today. We're looking at gusty winds already in spots, upwards of around 30 to over 70 miles per hour uh, up and through the mountains. Most recent wind gusts there are berthed past at right around 70. So the winds are going to pick up. We're going to see gusts likely hurricane force through the day today with some high fire danger up and down the front range. A number of high wind warnings in effect throughout the day. And as far as temperatures go, we'll see some upper 50s to near 60. So it's going to be windy, cool today. There is a slight chance that we'll pick up a few isolated showers this afternoon, uh, but not enough. Only about a 30% chance of seeing that here. The mountains will pick up more snow, though. It's going to stay windy and chilly on Wednesday, much calmer and warmer by Friday for the Rockies home opener.